Hello everyone. Welcome back to my tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to set units in AutoCAD, focusing on using the decimal format and millimeters as our units. Accurate unit settings are crucial for any design project, so let's get started. The units command in AutoCAD allows you to define the measurement system for your drawing. This includes the type of units you'll be using, like inches, millimeters, or feet, and the precision of these units. To access the units command, you can type UN on your keyboard and press enter, or you can find it under the format menu. Let's open the units command. I'll type UN and press enter. This opens the drawing units dialog box, where we can set our units and precision. In the drawing units dialog box, you'll see a section labeled length. Here, we can choose the type of units we want to use. For this tutorial, we're setting our units to decimal. Select decimal from the drop-down menu. Next, we need to set the precision for our units. This defines how many decimal places AutoCAD will display. You can choose the level of precision that suits your project needs. For now, I'll set it to no decimal places for simplicity. Now, let's set our units to millimeters. In the same dialog box, under the insertion scale section, there's a drop-down menu labeled units to scale inserted content. From this menu, select millimeters. This ensures that any content we insert into our drawing will be scaled correctly using millimeters. Once you've set the type to decimal, the precision, and the units to millimeters, click OK to apply the settings. Now your drawing is set up to use decimal units and millimeters. And that's it. You've successfully set up your units in AutoCAD to use decimal format and millimeters. This setup is essential for precise and accurate drawings especially in engineering and architectural projects. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my lesson for more AutoCAD tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. If you love the AutoCAD I create and want to stay updated, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Let me show you how. Just go to my channel by clicking on my profile picture below any of my videos or search for my channel name in the YouTube search bar. Once you're there, you'll see a black subscribe button. Click on it. Don't forget to hit the bell icon next to it. This way, you'll get notifications every time I upload a new video. You don't want to miss out. Head over to my Facebook page by searching for my name in the Facebook search bar. Once you're on my page, click the follow button. Easy, right? You can also like my page to show some extra support and see my posts in your feed. Open the Instagram app and search for my username in the search bar. When you find my profile, tap the follow button. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. Bye.